In 2022, the deadly opioid crisis swept through our nation, and Wichita Falls was by no means spared. Talia Bravo joins us now with more on this year's fentanyl crisis. So, Talia, what all did we see this year? This year, fentanyl came as fast as what I wish I could say it has left us, but the reality is, this is only the beginning. Fentanyl came to Wichita Falls in 2022 as a storm none of us were prepared for. In over a span of five months, 15 lives were taken. About two weeks ago, 35 pounds of fentanyl was seized in Lawton, Oklahoma. How close is that to us? Fentanyl is killing Americans at record rates. Her friends were doing it. It was a prescription. Many of them didn't know they were taking the deadliest drug our country has ever seen. He was just beginning his life. Between three days, fentanyl claimed three lives. A 22-year-old MSU student, 19-year-old girl, and the youngest victim, a 13-year-old boy. One weekend in September, three lives lost. The Wichita Falls Police are investigating three fentanyl-related deaths over the weekend. Two of those people were teenagers. Case in Villarreal, the youngest victim to fentanyl, went to a friend's house one night but never came back. His mother last heard from him around 11 p.m., but it wasn't until an image of Villarreal began circling social media that his family knew what had happened. He was just beginning his life. He was going to be 14 October 7th. He doesn't have that chance now. He was robbed of it. It seems like it's so, so much easier access. You know, the 13-year-old the boy, like, <clears throat> how does a teenager get access of, of the Percocet, you know, laced fentanyl? It's killing our kids, and, you know, every week it's like two a month. To combat the battle with fentanyl in our community, WFPD touched on trainings again to make sure our officials were equipped, and law officials also stepped in. Refresher training on it and the ideas on how to do it and how to investigate it. We are going to target you, and if people overdose, when we have the evidence that we need to make the case, and our, that's why that training was so important to know how to develop these types of cases, we are going to treat them as homicides in the investigation phase and in, in the prosecution phase. Ingesting one pill could kill you. The struggle our community has been facing is fentanyl's ability to disguise itself amongst common street drugs. So people are buying them unintentionally. So scary because you don't know what a child doesn't know. Our kid may not know what they're getting um, with, with the pill, and they think they're getting a Xanax that's laced with fentanyl, and that can cause their lungs to stop working and, and can, um, it can can cause almost immediate death. More than 50 arrests were made and 20 lives claimed by this deadly drug this year alone. Numbers we hope to not see this upcoming year as we continue to tackle the fentanyl crisis here at home. Now, as we step into the new year, we would like to just remind you how deadly this pill can really be. One pill could kill, and it takes a whole community to fight this. If you see something, please say something for yourself or someone you know. Yeah, so true. Okay, Talia, thanks so much for a look back at that, and hopefully uh, things will be improved within the next year. Thanks for that story.